Hey, what's up everyone? Morty Croson here and we have a great topic for you today. We're going to be talking about everything that has to do with the shin angle and we're going to start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so the shin angle is something that's really important when it comes to really acceleration for sprinters in particular, but anybody that's trying to run fast, you have to have a really great understanding about, you know, shin angle. And I think the more educated you are about, you know, how to run faster, it gives you the opportunity to be able to really be focusing in your practice. And that ends up being such an important thing, guys, especially for anybody that is, uh, again, a sprinter looking to run fast, is like when you're actually going and working on you know, running faster, you have to be very focused on what it is that you're doing. Every step matters, every part of each step matters. And so you really wanna be in tune with your body to understand what's going on, to then therefore know how to improve. And so what we're gonna be talking about with the shin angle, and there's really two main things, right? We have a positive shin angle, which is gonna be anything less than 45 degrees, which is really what we're talking about here. So if we go and create a little, do this real quick. So with the shin angle, what we're looking at here is the angle of the shin in comparison to the track. I'm trying the best that I can here to make it so it's something that makes sense. But really, a positive shin angle is when this angle is below 90 degrees, right? So anything, whoops, anything below 90 degrees ends up making it so this is a positive shin angle. So um, here we could see exactly where we were at there uh, with, that, with that shin angle. So you really want it to be in around that 45 degree angle, I really like to be able to make it so um, we can get as close to kind of that, that perpendicular with the track look going on here, just to really be able to make it so it's closer to, you know, a lot of times the um, top track athletes are gonna be in that like 45 degree angle, right? And this is coming out of the blocks, obviously. So somewhere around there, this is saying it's like closer to 40% or 40 degrees, we're gonna look at here. We'll go and do the same thing. So yeah, this is about 30 degrees. This is both Christian Coleman and, and both of these. And so we got really closer to 30 degrees according to this here. And then we got about 45 degrees, or sorry, 39 degrees on the right. And this is something that is really great with Christian Coleman. He has such a great ability to create an amazing shin angle, especially during that acceleration. What happens is like as you're first starting, you have to be really great. And, and really that second step is super important in being able to achieve that shin angle right and, and understanding how to, to really maximize your acceleration phase and so you can see it's a little bit bigger there 42 degrees but point being is understanding exactly what that that angle is so it has to do with the track there and where your shin is in comparison to you know the track so you know he's at a, about a 42 degree angle again this is you know not perfect science in terms of how we're doing it but it gives us a good idea of around where he's at uh, again it goes up to 90 degrees right? And so anything that is in that 90 degree area is considered a positive shin angle. Now, the, the lower we can get it in the acceleration phase is better. The, the start phase, the acceleration phase is better off we're going to be. And then as we get to our top end speed, what happens is we get to more of what's called a negative shin angle, which is going to be with a 90 degrees, right? So like basically straight up or higher, right? So anything above 90 degrees is going to be in that positive shin angle category. So if we look to see Christian Coleman here, this is when he was running that, that 40 yard dash. So you can see when he gets to that top speed, he's more in that like straight down, his, his shin angle is basically going straight down or is basically exactly perpendicular with the ground. And so that ends up being the big difference between what, you know, first, what is the shin angle, right? So the shin angle has to do with the track and your shin. The second thing is what is the difference between a positive shin angle and a negative shin angle? So positive shin angle is when your the, the angle of, of the shin in comparison to the track is anything below 90 degrees. And then a negative shin angle is gonna be 90 degrees or greater. And so, and, and really when we're talking about a negative shin angle, we wanna have that more at top end speed. When it comes to a positive shin angle, we wanna really have that at our acceleration phase. And, and in terms of how much it should be changing, you know, we could probably, you know, if you could start off with closer to, you know, a about 40 degree shin angle would be a goal, right? 40 to 45 would be a huge goal, especially for guys that are like 5'10", 
uh, to like 6'2", right? Anywhere in there, you could, the better your shooting angle could be, or the lower, the closer to 40 the shooting angle could be, the better you are. And then from there, about a three degree increase on each step, okay? Um, so if you're gonna take a side view here, as you're going through, so you can see that was, we said it was about 39 there, right? When he was landing, boom, okay? And then here it got up to like 42-ish, right? So you wanna end up building some degree of increase as you're going through, but you don't wanna necessarily go from, you know, 40 degrees to 75 degrees right away. And I think a lot of people end up having that issue where they go from like a first step having a great shin angle, great shin position, to second, third step, really starting to lose that, that great shin position. And what's important when we're talking about this is one, we have to have great range of motion within that ankle joint and, and foot joint to be able to get that those toes all the way up. But more importantly, when the foot lands, we have to have a lot of stability within that ankle, right? Because what ends up helping you in being able to achieve more range of motion within the ankle is by having more stability within the ankle. I think a lot of people make this mistake where you just think that you just need to be able to stretch and stretch and stretch the ankle, stretch the ankle. And while you, that is somewhat degree to, to some degree correct, you want to be able to eccentrically do it, right? So you want to be actually adding resistance to it. So now when you're actually improving that range of motion, you're doing it through a eccentric contraction of the muscle and that will set you up more so for performance enhancement instead of, you know, just having the range of motion. Cause like, you know, there's a ton of people that do yoga all the time, but they're not running 100 meter sprints and, you know, the Olympics or, you know, sub four or five 40 yard dashes. So the reason is, is because they're not working on an eccentric contraction of the muscle, they're just stretching. So it's a different type of training when it comes to performance enhancement or speed enhancement. We're talking and, and thinking about being able to increase the range through that eccentric contraction or through a even concentric contraction of like your anterior tib, like the muscles on the front part of the shin and an eccentric control of a lot of the muscles on that posterior side as well as a lot of the muscles on you know the side of the shin, right? So both of the, there, there's muscles all through here that they need to be able to be strong. They have to be able to control all that force you're putting down on the ground. Because Christian Coleman, the reason he's running fast is slow motion. The reason he's running fast is because he's creating so much force into the ground that that allows him to be able to generate all the power and the speed necessary to be able to run as fast as he does, right? And so what has to be understood is that in order to do that, it creates a ton of stability and control within the ankle joint. So when your foot hits the ground, your foot hit, can't hit the ground and be wobbly, right? You need to hit the ground and be strong and stable and be able to transition right back off. And that's what allows you to have a great shin angle, right? Is being able to, to maintain this position. Because if you can't maintain the shin angle here, what's gonna happen is that, you know, your first step might be good, but then after that, you're gonna really quickly start to increase the shin angle simply because your body can't balance, it can't control where you're at. So, you know, if you're struggling with having multiple steps of having a great positive shin angle, it's because of a lack of stability and control within that ankle joint and maybe even within the core. There's a direct correlation within, you know, how well you can get dorsiflexion within the ankle with how well you're able to utilize like your transverse abdominis. And so um, going deeper into that and understanding that is gonna be for another video, but point being, take consideration into how your shin angle is applying to your ability to reach top speed because that's what it's all about is how well can you start, how well do you go through your drive phase and that will make you, so you set up yourself for your top end speed. And so if you don't have a great understanding of how you can maximize that, this video will help you out to be able to see, you know, where your shin angle should be at, what are some exercises to be able to help you and really how can you apply that to your, your current training to really make it so you can take your, your game to the next level.